Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you to my subscribers, welcome to the newcomers. I hope you subscribe and you like, you share, you help, you know, grow the uh, channel, be part of this family and create these beautiful pieces with me. This will be the second part of the table runner for the centerpiece that the video is out already as centerpiece for patterns. And I am going to finish up creating the flowers. Uh, this table runner is in honor of my beautiful cousin, uh, Shauna Medeiros. And um, I'll be creating a few more in honor of family members' names to have as a souvenir, something they could always look back into uh, some of my creations and be on YouTube as long as YouTube exists. So something to remember me by for a very long time, hopefully, and, and God's willing. Uh, so I already have the, carn the pink carnation flower tutorial out. You can look that up if you want to create this flower, or you can use some other flower as you wish. I also have uh, the green leaf, which I'm using the multi-green um, thread uh, for this pattern, which I will be putting in between the flowers, the leaf that I will be adapting on. You can look them up. You can go into the leaves on the playlist and look up how to create this beautiful uh, leaf. And also you can go in the playlist and look for the pink carnation flower and create that too. And have it ready if you are doing it, if you're doing these flowers for this specific pattern, then you can start creating your, your flowers to adapt into this pattern. What I am going to do is I am going to um, close around the pattern itself uh, with small stitch all the way around. So uh, I hope you're gonna enjoy me to, to create this beautiful piece. And thank you everybody again for your beautiful comments and your shares and your likes. Um, I'm very humbled by it. Thank you so much, everybody. We are going to get started. Okay, so I'm going to get you a little bit close up. So you would turn once. You would lock it in. And you're going to do it on the right side up. And you know when it's the right side because your poofs are sticking out more. The back part, they're more flat, as you can see. But if, if I pull them like this, you can see the poofs are more sticking out. So you know it's the right side. And the back part is flatter. So we are going to start on any corner of the pattern. So I'm going to go right into the corner here and I am going to lock it in with a small stitch. You can start hiding your thread already. Now in the corner we are going to do one and two small stitch and we're going to do this throughout the whole pattern sorry about the dogs but when they see a cat they see a fly they see anything go by they start barking okay so we're going to do two in here because when we're going to come around we're going to do another two on the same place so we go directly into the next row try to hide this yarn thread i keep saying yarn it's just a bad habit of mine so we're going to do two uh two per each like that next row so very simple and if i see that i need three then i'll do three each but 
I'll see. If it's too separated, then I'll probably going to do three each because I don't want it to be. I don't want it to show too much of the white underneath. So I'm going to go back here again. See how this is going to work out. And this is part of creating these, these patterns is by doing and undoing. Okay, let's try three. I don't want it to be too uh, pushy up either. One, two, and three. And all the information on the on these colored threads, it will be uh, below the description box on the video, so you can look it up if you're interested on these threads. A lot of people in the crochet groups have asked me for it. So I got uh, information from the seller itself, and she gave me all the information to post it up. Okay, so let's do three on each row like that one two and three and then we jump oh i got a mess here and we jump automatically into the next row two and three and one two and three and we're going to do this all the way around so very simple so you can leave that nice um, finish around the pattern and then it's going to look great once the the leaf goes in the middle and these patterns of the flowers here. I think it's going to look beautiful. So I'll meet you at the corner here and tell you what to do in the corner. So continue doing your side. Okay, everybody. So we pretty much reached the corner, as you can see. So we go in and we do two. And then we do one, two, separation, and go back in and do two again. Because we want to make sure that we have the rounded corner and not pulling from one side to the other. And then you'd come into, um, this is the edge, right? And you just do one stitch per each um stitch in here if I'm explaining it right so I have a little bit of thread here by the way all these threads I don't know if I mentioned uh, these are all size 4 this is 100% cotton soft cotton and it's got a little glow a little shine to it and the lady that um, sells them, she has the uh, one kilo uh, cones, which I've mentioned um, quite a few videos. Uh, it's about a thousand one hundred twenty-five to to fifty uh, grams, and it costs uh, Canadian or American dollar about between 14 depending on the exchange rate 14 to 16 dollars for that big cone i think it's well worth it uh, for the price that usually we pay for 50 grams it's insane so i think um, it's very excellent and she has every color multicolor that you can possibly think of so for some of you that are curious about this cotton because sometimes i hear a lot about the cotton uh, people working with it that is very hard and they hate it well this is very very soft cotton so it's beautiful to work with and I'm using needle size 3 for this number 4 and she has number 6 number 8 number 10 and number 20 and anything uh, higher than 4 it's all thicker um, these are imported from Brazil 
and the higher the number in Brazil, the thicker the piece of the thread is. Okay, so we've reached the other corner again. One, two, and two separation, and two more on the same corner. So we can have that perfect little edge here. We don't want to be pulling away too much from it. And then you'd proceed and you'd go on to your next row and you do your three small stitch. And then the next one. So you're going to do that all the way around. And then we can cut our thread, our yarn, whatever you're working with. And we are going to... Uh, start adding on the flowers and the leaves to the pattern. And normally I create the flowers before and get it ready. So when my centerpiece is ready, I'm just ready to put on the flowers. But because I'm working on two projects at the same time, because this is urgent to be shipped out, um, I had no time to be creating the flowers up ahead because I'm behind on these orders since I didn't have the uh, thread. I was missing thread and it took uh, a little while before it arrived here in the island where I'm at because of the pandemic, of course, you know, like many places still are not open in many countries and they can't get access to, to their yarns and threads and things like that but thank god my cone came in and i have white thread for a while to do my my center pieces until some of my other thread will arrive that i've ordered um also in size six it is thicker and it will be great because it takes less stitches and the pattern becomes way bigger so you save a lot of thread on that and so it's well not less stitches but less rows let's say because it, the pattern becomes bigger but um, I'm excited for that and I really love this big white cone that I ordered I'm happy with it um, Usually here in the island, it's uh, 100 uh, grams, these small little cones. So I'm happy to get the one kilo cones that uh, last quite a while since I crochet a lot and I have a lot of orders. So it's much worth it for me. Okay, people, so continue yours and I'll continue mine. Okay, everybody, so... We've hit the other corner that we started, so we go in it, one and two, one, two separation, and we lock it in on the first stitch where we started the, the row. So we cut our thread, our yarn, whatever you're using. And we'd pull through some of the loops back here. I like to give it a knot, as most of you know, just to make sure that everything is in secure. And you can go through some of the loops back here. And that's pretty much it for this. So it stays nice and firm, as you can see. And your corners stay nice and firm. So now, just grab this here. 
I am going to show you how we are going to adapt. So we're at the edge of the pattern, the smaller part, right? And sometimes it's kind of complicated too. Okay, so we're at the edge. And what we're going to do is just before you close all the way around, we're in the middle here on the last um, row of the petals. And you'd grab where the two stitches are from the corner and you'd lock it in and then you'd continue doing your two stitch in here and then the one right next to it my neighbors I think they're having a party the music's going on loud if it's not construction it's dogs if it's not dogs it's the neighbor wow party place isn't it okay so then you'd come to the middle and you do your small stitch and you go up one two and then you'd go into the next one two uh no sorry made a mistake so you went to the first stitch here so two No, what am I doing? Sorry. Whoa, got confused if I was right the first time. Oh, good. We're supposed to have five stitches. Okay, so this is two because with the, with the one we went up. This stupid mosquito. Um, so three, four, and five. One, two. And we're going to do two more in here, one and two, and then three, four, and five. We go in between, we lock it in, one, two, up. Since we have the two in here already, don't forget. So we have one already, two, and three. And we lock it up here on the third place. I'm getting bitten by mosquitoes now because it rained. So the mosquitoes are out now. We'd cut the thread. Pull it behind the loops here. You can bring it down to the bottom. And you're going to the loops here in the bottom. making a shadow, I don't know why. And then I'm going to through one more loop and give it a knot. I'd like to give it a knot to have all the stuff secure. Pull through it like that. And then go through a couple more loops just to make sure that everything is hidden in. I'm getting bitten here, my goodness. I'm about to start getting that mosquito spray out. Okay. 
So, the first one, we're only going to attach it in one, one, um, one leaf here, if you want to call them, a uh, paddle, sorry, one paddle. Because when we're going to put the green leaves, okay, when we're going to put these green leaves, just turn that a bit here. Since we have 16 poofs here, we have to put this in the middle. So it would be eight, two, four, six, and eight. Wow, well, had the finger right on it. Good eyeing. So this would go here, and then this is going to attach like this. So we're going to have one left out. Okay. I'm going to try to turn the light of the cellar on because the small lamp light is not enough. Okay, that's better. So like I was saying, so we're going to have this going in the middle between all of the, so we have 16 poofs. This is going to be on, on the 8, which is right here in the center. This is going to attach here to this paddle, and one stays out. And then we're going to have the other one on this side, if I can turn it a bit. So we are going to attach this other one coming over here. And this is going to be touched over here. Okay, so nothing complicated, uh, very simple. And this is what it's going to look like. It's going to be gorgeous. Okay, so we have one done. And now I am doing the. So I'm going to have to take this part down because um, on these ones, one, two, three, four, and five. Like I said, you can go into the playlist and see how the uh, leaves are created. So you'd grab the last, since it's five, let me just get a close up. One, two, three, four, five. Since we're doing five of them, you'll see on the on the tutorial. On the last one that we're going to do, which this is the fifth, I'm going to grab it right here on the, um, on the center where the two uh, separate. And then I would just continue on from here, grabbing the out, oops, grabbing the outside of Good God, I'm trying to get the right lighting here. And then we do our little small stitch like that. Now in the middle here, there's a two stitch separation. We go in, we would give one stitch and now we'd count the two, four, six and eight. So we know it's about here. The separation between the poofs. We lock it in. And we would continue with our leaf because this is the last uh, row of the leaf and then we'd grab Then we grab this one here, which actually I was uh, doing the tutorial on it. And I had closed up 
so you guys could see what it looked like but I left my thread hanging there so I can um, attach it so we attach the other flower here on the corner and then do our regular two stitch inside and then lock it in on the last one there like that I think I left enough thread for it of course I did I wanted to make sure that I didn't have to like cut another piece of thread and and add on to it I hate that but it can happen sometimes you know you cut it too short and you have to go back and mend some more thread okay so you get it through some of the loops and like I said I like to to give it a knot so it doesn't go anywhere at all tie it in and then pull through the loops again back here and then you're sure that this is not going to go anywhere at all impossible so i'm going to give it another knot here at the edge just because i feel like it and there it is so this one's attached so we'll continue on with our leaf and so you'd leave the same thing as as on here hold on a minute it's crazy whoops so we leave one space out and we're going to do the same thing to this one we're going to leave it out so we're going to attach it here so we're going to have both of them attached on the same place so you'd come where the the space of the two separation on the leaf here on the flower i should say very simple nothing to it people i mean it's just attaching flowers into a leaf you know you cut it you make a knot of it you come back here you bring your thread to the back and you go through some of the the stitches back here you give it a nice knot so nothing comes apart you want to make sure that your job is is well done and secured in the finishing project is always the most important of the projects because if it's not well done secure and clean uh, the job looks horrible so we have to make sure that everything is well in place okay so we have our first attachment done as you can see if I can I know it's kind of hard because my table is small but yeah that's as far as it's gonna go I'll try to pull it here and now uh, we're going to create another another leaf and we're gonna put it here and then flower and then leaf all the way around this is how it's gonna be so we're gonna create another leaf we're gonna put it here and then we're gonna create a flower and then a leaf and then a flower and it goes on so I'm going to create another flower and another leaf and then I'll come back and add it on so you can see how I'm going to add it on the, on the sides too. Now, if the question was that it was too, you know, let's say you were making it larger and you wanted to put two leaves in, then you could have put two leaves side by side with, with the flowers on the side or you could have just done uh, flower, leaf, flower, leaf, flower, leaf. I mean, it's optional, you know what I'm saying? So I'll see you in a bit okay everybody so i finished doing my other leaf well almost finished doing it 
And what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it to the side. And I'm going to count four rows afterwards. So I'm on my fifth. One, two, three, four, and five. Get a little bit closer. And I am going to attach it right on here. The first one after that attachment. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to close it up as usual. The last uh, row on the leaf, which we grab by the back loops only as we're working on them. So we can create that little nerve on them. And then here in the center, there's a, a two-stitch separation. Get you a little bit more close up. Okay, so we're going to count one, two, three, and four. So here on the fourth one, okay, so one, two, three, four here. This is where we're going to add it, add it on. One, two, three, and four. So on your fourth one here, We're going to add on the leaf and we continue to finish up the last row. You always leave two stitch behind on your ends here. So one stitch up. Want to create that little pompon here at the edge. Always cut your thread your yarn at the end, but of course I had to do it before. Yeah, I like to complicate everything for myself, of course. I give good advice, but I never take it, right? Okay, so I'm going to tie this in. That's why it was good not to cut it right away and always leave um, some leaf uh, some thread a little bit of a longer piece which I didn't well at least it's I put a knot there so that's not going to go anywhere just going to clean it up a bit Okay, so now we have the second leaf locked in. Okay, so that's going to be like that. And then we're going to put the other flower here as it is. And then I'll show you when it's time to add the other flower. Okay, what I'm going to do is, instead of having it all at the same color in the center, I'm going to use the pink and alternate the center, one, two, and three. And we're going to create the flower and use one center, like in here, all pink, and then the mixture of the multicolored pink. I think it will give it a nice a nice glow to it. Okay, just wanted to to let you know that I'm alternating the colors of 
the flower. So if you're creating the flower, this flower, then you know that you're going to be doing one like this, fully the same color, and then the other one that's going to go on here is the middle is pink. So you can go into the playlist of the flower, the pink carnation, and take it from there. I'll come back when it's time to add the other flower. Okay, everybody, so I got a few flowers prepared to add on, and I am going to add on this flower here, hopefully. You can see it. So, to a little bit more closer. So, I'm going to grab the edge here of this leaf. And I'm alternating a bit of the colors, but keeping the pink and green as the actual flower, just doing the petals around different colors. So you'd continue on doing your stitch the same way. One, two, three, four, uh, three, sorry, four, and five. Sorry about the construction, it's still happening and it's a nightmare, but I can't do anything about it. Okay, so now we are going to count where we stitched from here, one, that's one row, where the poof is, get you a little bit closer, one, this would be two rows three with the other poof, and four. I am going to stick it where the four and the poof, the five row is on here. So one, two, three, and four. I'm going to put it right in between the four and the five which is where the poof is. So one, two, three, four, right here. I'm gonna attach it on. And then continue doing the stitch, the last row. So there's your five stitch, you go in the middle here, and you go up one, two, you go in the next one, and do your regular stitch, we're going to do five of them again, and one stitch, and then we're going to do one, So we attached it on there uh, between the row and the poof. So let's count the poof one row, two, and three. And we're going to go into the fourth row. So one, two, three, and fourth row. And we're going to touch it on here again. So we're going to have two of these paddles attached to the pattern. Kind of 
come in the middle, small stitch, one, two, going up and into the next one. One, two, two separation, and this is where I started my row. So I'm going to lock it in, and I'm going to cut and seal. Then I'm going to go through the loops here and bring the leftover inside of a few, give it a knot, as I always do in my patterns, because I don't want nothing to come apart. And go through some of the loops again to make sure that it's all secure. It's not gonna go anywhere. Pretty much go through any loop, it doesn't matter. As long as you hide it back there. And I'm going to give it one more knot here to be secure. Should be good enough because I have two knots on there already. So Trying to stretch it out here a bit so you can have an idea. So it's going to stay like that and it's not going to be crumpled up. And then we're going to proceed with the green leaf. I have it prepared. One, two, three, four, and five. And we are going To grab it on here Well, I can't wait for this construction to be over and done with. It's been months on the making and it's driving us up the wall. They start very early and they finish late. I mean, I understand they got to do what they got to do, but my goodness. Okay, so we've come to the center. Now, we're going to do... Let me just um, count them here. Make sure I know hard when my table is not that big, but we try to, to do what we can. Okay, so one, two, three, four. So I am going to place it on my fifth one. If we count from the one we did, this row, right? So one the poof would be two, the next row three, the poof four, and then the stitch is five. I'm gonna do it in between stitch and poof. You try to work whatever way is best for you on placing them. There's not a real specific count for um, for stitch for stitching them on or adapting them, 
it's where you think it falls uh, properly the right way that's where you put them on you don't want to give too much space either because you don't want too much space on the stitch on the pattern but you don't want it to be crumpled up either so you go in between if you have to the rows and that works out pretty well so And you would just go through the loops here again to have it all secured in. I'm going to give it a knot as usual. I want to make sure that it's all in place. And I'm going through the middle of these stitches and hiding my thread. And I'm going to give it one more knot here just to to be secure pull through it and then through the loop again so I'll cut this up Gonna pull a little bit of the stitch out. Okay. So it's not pulling too much. It's just perfectly on. And then you'd go to your next one, which I have it prepared because I'm using different colors, so I advanced myself. On creating them makes it easier on me so I'm going to have to take uh, one two and three down I think I have to close that up then again we're going to grab it here and finish up our petals on the flower. Two, three, four, and five. One stitch. Okay, so we lie it out again. Make sure we're going to have it lined up. So we have it here. One is where we stitched. One two, three, four. So we're going to do it on between the four and the five where the poof starts. So we're going to start by here. And this is pretty much uh, how you add them on, people. It's not complicated at all. So my opinion to you is create the flower. Don't do the petal right away. Just do the middle part. Put it aside and create how many you, you see you need more or less. And then when you once finish this, 
Then go back and create your petals and start adapting on them. It's faster and easier. Four and five and small stitch in the middle, two stitch going up, go to your next one, next one, three, four, and five. And then, again, like we did here, we separated one, two, and three, and we went between the, the three and the four. So one, two, and three, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go between the three and the four. Two, and lock it in on the third one where we started. So I'm going to continue doing mine, you can continue doing yours, and when it gets to the end of this row, we're going to adapt the corner ones again together, and then we're pretty much done. i to give it a knot here, should have left the... The thread a little bit longer but I didn't but I still managed to pull through and give this little knot here it's always best to leave a little bit of the thread longer to give it your knot sometimes I'm not paying attention I'm just going with the flow And then, like I said, you would pull your your middle uh, piece into the middle, and you tie up your your pearl. Sometimes when the hole is a little bit smaller, it's always a little bit harder to get it in. Good God. I think I had too much coffee today. I'm a coffee lover, so I drink a lot of coffee, and well, that pretty much gets me going on the crochet. Too much so that I start shaking from so much coffee. Anyway, so you'd come through the back, and you would see more or less where the line comes across, and you grab your thread, your yarn, and you pull right across from it because you want your your pearl to to stay straight on there and then you'd come through one of the loops here and you give it a knot and then you're sure that nothing is going to come apart and then you go through some of the loops here again. And 
you would pull through it. And we should be okay. So, this is how it's going to look like. I'll meet you guys at the end to adapt the corner one. And then you're on your own, and I'll finish mine and then have the reveal shots and the little video at the end. So you can see what it looks like once I put it on top of the counter and, and film it a bit. Okay, everybody. So, I'm going to add... So we finished, we, we stopped on here on the leaf. I'm not going to add another flower right away, nor a leaf, nor a flower, because that's how much it's going to take. It's going to take two more flowers and a leaf. I'm going to go directly to the corner, and I'll tell you why I'm going to go directly to the corner. Let's say that we're putting on the leaf and the flowers still on the side. And because we are not doing uh, counts of stitch, because we're doing how the flower or the leaf falls uh, well into the side. Well, if we do this corner one already, then we know exactly um, more or less how we're going to put the flower and the leaf on the side to finish up the, the side. We can cheat on the rows by adding them into the side afterwards once this leaf is on to see how much it pulls from it because we don't want it to be pulling too much, right? I'll show you in a second. Just gonna finish up with this here the corner one okay so we grabbed only by one one in the corner okay so let me just show you here and get it okay so here is my corner one now if we are to add another leaf and flower hold on a second trying to get this leaf without pulling it apart so we're gonna have to put a leaf here and then we're gonna put a flower here and then we have a leaf to put here and we need to fit a flower also in between so we pretty much can cheat on the rows here how we're going to place it because if we place the leaf right and, uh, the flower and then we place the leaf and if we only do the counts by here it's probably going to be too crumpled up or too far apart so by adding the corner one here we can play with the rows here to adapt the flower on there okay so you already know the edge of the flower how it's going to be because uh, I've shown you right from the start so that's the same thing on this side and now we're just gonna add uh, the uh, corner one so if you want you can add all your corners and you can do your edges, okay? And then start doing your sides. And it, it's going to give you, at least if you do one side, you know exactly you're going to line it up, right? An example. So if my leaf is here on this poof, then we know we're going to put a leaf here. So, you know, you don't have to be counting anymore because you're just going to line them up to the same rows on the other side. So this is about it with this tutorial um i want to thank every single one of you again thank you so much for for uh, 
supporting the channel, helping it grow. And thank you to the newcomers for visiting. I hope you stay. I hope you subscribe, like, share, comment. And so thank you so much, everybody. And uh, any questions, please feel free to either uh, leave a comment there or you can email me. My email is always there as far, like I said at the beginning, as far as the colors of threads and so on. I'll leave in the description box all the information who you can contact and order from. And uh, God bless everybody. Stay safe. And I will have the reveal shots and the little video at the end once I am done with this pattern. And again, in honor, name Shauna to my beautiful cousin Shauna Medeiros. I love you very much. I hope you liked this pattern, uh, this table runner that I had created in your name. God bless you. Much love to you. Much hugs and love to the family and to Eddie. Stay safe on the road. And I'll see you in the next video, people. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye-bye. Take care. Okay, everybody. Um, I was almost forgetting. And before I close off again, I just wanted to let you know how many flowers I have on the pattern, which I wasn't sure either at that point when I was adding the flowers on. So I'm on my last flower here. And I am going to add them up with the leaves. And to give you an idea, to give you an idea more or less how many um, flowers I have. I almost made a mistake here by talking. That's what happens. So I'm just going to finish this last little round because I had closed off, but I had forgotten to show you or to tell you how many flowers uh, this size of pattern took. And I preferred to record a little bit more and let you know how many flowers there is. Okay. Last stitch. I was like finishing to do the flowers and I was like, wait a minute, I don't think I told them how many flowers this size of pattern took. I mean, even though it will show on the picture, but it's not uh, the same thing as telling you, right? So I said, okay, even though I closed off already, it doesn't matter. It takes two seconds to get back on and, and let my people know how many flowers it was. Now I can do the little uh, video and take some pictures on top of the counter and let you see exactly what it looks like. Okay, so finished my last flower. So we have the two flowers at the end, right? All four of the little threads here. So one, two, let me just bring that up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve flowers. So we will be needing twelve flowers for the for this size of pattern, and then um, two, four, six. 8, 10, and 12 also of the leaves. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 at the edge. Okay, thank you.